It's been a week since we've talked with Kim Anderson, and Kim, there's been a little bit of variability in the wheat market. Well, last week we talked about the that spring rally, and that rally continued into this week. Uh, you look at the uh, KC July wheat contract, go back to the 13th, it was at $5.44. By the 23rd, it was up to $5.80, and then, of course, it backed off later in the week. On the 25th, it was $5.68, and then it was down 10 or more cents in the latter part of the week. And it's almost like it's been two steps forward, one steps back. Back, what's causing this to happen? Well, I think the three main uh, factors are, you know, the fund, the the positions on uh, the funds have in the market, the uh, the dollar index, or the dollar's value relative to other currencies, the weather and the crop conditions. Uh, looking at those fund positions on the 13th, uh, you had a little over 63,000 short net short for the funds. On the 23rd, uh, they had bought. Uh, you know, about 11,000 contracts, and they were down to 52,000, a little above that for short positions. But they sold back in the market the next two days, and on the 25th, uh, they were short 60,000 plus contracts. If you look at the uh, dollar index or the value of the dollar relative to other currencies, on the 13th, it was 100.7. On the 23rd, it was 97.3. In other words, it fell about uh, 4%, a little over that. And then on the 25th, it was uh, just slightly lower. So what you see there is as prices went up, you had the, the funds buying the contracts. And I think that's part of that reason. Also, you had the that dollar value going down, which made our wheat less expensive on the foreign market, increased demand there. So I think the big factors there were the, the funds and the dollar. Of course, we can talk about crop conditions and what's going on there. Now, kind of turning the corner a little bit, the USDA released their planning intentions report yesterday. What was in that report? If you, if you look at uh, wheat, you know, just looking at the pre-release estimates, uh, which are going to be the measure of uh, what the market's going to do, uh, that estimate was at uh, 55.8 million acres compared to last year's 56.8 million, so about a million less acres of wheat this year. I think that's going to be positive for wheat. Of course, corn's important. Uh, the the uh, pre-release estimate was 88.7 million acres compared to 90.6 last year, or down about 1.9 million acres. Okay, thank you much. Kim Anderson, Grain Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.